In the world of Formula 1, the tyre strategy and what kind of tyre used on the car can determine the outcome of a race. Today, we'll discuss the different types of tyre compounds and their uses. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you found the video informative. In 2022, all F1 teams use Pirelli tyres. F1 regulations state that Pirelli is the only tyre any team can use because of an exclusive agreement between Pirelli and the FIA. This agreement began in 2011 and has been extended through at least 2024. Before Pirelli, Bridgestone was the official tyre of F1, but US tyre manufacturer Goodyear is the tyre company that holds the record with the most races run on their tyres. Prior to 2006, teams were allowed to use any tyre manufacturer, but this led to unfair advantages as bigger teams were able to afford better and more advanced tyres. The FIA put an end to that and forced all teams to use tyres from the same manufacturer. Being the official tyre of F1 also allows for an incredible branding opportunity as all drivers that make it to the podium now don Pirelli caps. Pirelli has developed five different dry weather tyre specifications for F1 which are designated C1 to C5. The C1, the hardest tyre, and the C5 is the softest tyre. There are also intermediate and full wet tyre types for inclement weather. Pirelli selects three of the five types of dry weather tyre to use at each Grand Prix and notifies the teams in advance so they can prepare and test. The selected tyres are colour-coded, with the hardest of the three given white accents, the medium with yellow accents, and the softest with red accents. Intermediate and wet tyres are also taken to every event, and these are colour-coded green for inters and blue for full wets. For teams to choose which tyre to use in a specific race, the weather and temperature is really important. If the weather is too hot, they go for harder tyres and vice versa. Another factor that's considered is the track. For example, on tracks like Barcelona or Bahrain, tyres with high wear are used. That's because there are fast corners which means tyres are under high pressure, so harder compounds are needed there because they are a lot more durable than softer tyres. Lower and middle field teams often use hard tyres to finish the race to avoid too many pit stops to earn back some time and hopefully earn some points. For tracks like Monaco, drivers often use the red soft tyres. The soft tyres provide more grip, but they wear out quicker. So, on short and twisty tracks like Monaco, the grip is more important than the life of the tyres. Overall, the thing to remember is that soft tyres are the fastest but don't last very long, hard tyres are the slowest but also last the longest, and as expected, medium tyres are right in the middle. The green coloured tyre is the intermediate tyre, which can be used for a variety of on-track situations. It's frequently used during light rain where some parts of the track may be wet and others are dry. These tyres are good on medium or wet tracks, but they're also capable of earning some points on dry tracks. Intermediate tyres can displace 30 litres of water per second, which is great, but for more extreme conditions, the wet tyre with a blue colour scheme is used. In heavy rain situations, the wet tyre can shed an impressive 85 litres of water per second at a speed of 300 kilometres per hour. However, unlike the intermediate tyre, drivers struggle with a full wet tyre in dry or drying conditions. Every race weekend, every F1 team gets 13 sets of tyres for each car, out of which 3 are reserved for the race and the other 10 can be used in practice or qualifying. A recent example of where the tyre strategy affected the outcome of the race was at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Ferrari's tyre strategy was flawed and while Charles Leclerc was ahead, Ferrari placed him on hard tyres during a pit stop while Red Bull placed Max Verstappen on mediums. Verstappen was able to pass Leclerc easily and even though Leclerc pitted again and changed to soft tyres, it was too little too late as Verstappen went on to win the race. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, press the bell icon so you never miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, rev it up and have a great day.